COVID-19 cases in the triple digits for the fifth day in a row. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Chad Mira. And I'm Chelsea Helms. We appreciate you tuning in tonight. Secretary of Health Dr. Nate Smith says most of those cases are in younger people. KNWA is Lauren Craycaw live in Rogers tonight. Lauren, how does the Department of Health think this ties into the higher number of deaths we've been seeing in Northwest Arkansas? Well, Chad, Chelsea, as our cases spike, so do our deaths. Benton County recently reported seven additional COVID-19 deaths, and Washington County reports seven. The most recent death is a 39-year-old woman from Bethel Heights. COVID-19 cases continue to rise. This recent increase concerns Arkansas Department of Health Deputy Chief Medical Officer Dr. Bala. The younger folks, uh, they, they think they are invincible and uh, they go out, mingle in the crowd, they feel fine uh, and they'll be fine, but uh, they are going to spread the virus to uh, the vulnerable. He says because so many people are asymptomatic. It is likely they are the ones who are spreading to others too. We have a lot of uh, middle-aged uh, people uh, who are being impacted. On Monday, Secretary of Health Dr. Nate Smith said many of the natural states came Cases are coming from assisted living facilities. But the virus is also being spread within people's homes. We have multiple generations living together, and uh, that's the reason for spread. Dr. Ballas says this is a big reason why NWA is seeing an uptick in COVID-19 cases and deaths. We have to take precautions wherever we go, uh, but uh, the, con the situations that we're most concerned about are where people have prolonged uh, close contact with one another. Maria Reif, founding executive director for Arkansas United, says they've been working for months trying to get resources out to Marshallese and Latinx communities. The state can't do this alone, and uh, we have to be partners alongside them. And so the more that we can uh, spread the word out there um, that this is serious, uh, we do need to get tested. And um, as much as all of us want to get back to work, um, it's important uh, that we put our health first. An effort the ADH has also been a part of. We are uh, uh, printing a lot of Spanish materials uh, um, uh, and uh, disseminating it through our local health units. But the biggest message the ADH wants to get out right now is letting the younger population understand their role in protecting others from the virus. They need to be not just protecting themselves, they are protecting their loved ones when they get back to the house. To see COVID-19 resources available for Marshallese and Latinx communities, head to our website, nwahomepage.com. Reporting live in Bentonville, Lauren Craycall, KNWA Northwest Arkansas News.